What's up everybody, Y Davis here, back with another review. So I'm showing you guys a New Balance, Teddy Santa's 990 V3 Scarlet. Now before I get into the video guys, I just want to say thank you guys for all the support. Keep on liking, keep on subscribing, and it really motivates me to keep going when I see you guys liking my content. Also, let you know I'm gonna write the rest of the show you guys you wanna see. If you're new to the channel, I just wanna say thank you and welcome. I drop a lot of dope content here, so consider subscribing. Also, there's a 4K video playing in the background of me. And you guys will news videos coming ahead of time. You follow me on Instagram at Y Davis. But let's get right into it, guys. So these did actually drop today. As you guys can see here, we get the yellowish and red NB at the top. All right, big over size nine on these. Retail on these was 200. Current resale is going for about 250 to 260, depending on sizing. Um and yeah guys let's get right into it so open up the top of the box here we get a little message okay we also get this little paper right here just showing us the different new balances and things like that the models all right pretty far in my opinion okay take out this tissue paper here we got some regular tissue paper in here with the mbs and it says new balance on there in like a yellowish uh vanilla pudding color all right take out this beautiful beautiful shoe now in my opinion the 990 v3 is my favorite model um, i just love the way they fit i love the way you can unlace them and have them all the way at the top and still have enough room to like you know space out the laces and you can tie them and still have a lot of laces left um i just love the way they look with oversized pants and things like that but this definitely has to be one of my favorite models now um cranberry uh laces in these so um they do come standard with the white but they also do come with the list that you see on the left right here but uh, i'm gonna start off with the bottom of the shoe guys. on the bottom of the shoe here we get like this blackish grayish on the bottom all right we get a little bit of carbon fiber down there and a little bit of white towards the top of the shoe right there it says new balance at the back and on the side right there in red okay coming towards the outsole of the shoe here on the outside of the sole here is white going towards the back is gray it says en cap on there a little bit of plastic over top of that same thing on the inside we just don't see the en cap on the inside same color though Moving up a little bit higher than that, we get this suede material all around the shoe and on the other panels of the shoe, we get this mesh material. Um, I really like this color scheme on it. It really like a, it's like a cranberry color in my opinion, even though they're calling it like a scarlet, but it's like kind of faded out, which I really like. Um, when you put your hand on it, it kind of feels like a nappy suede in my opinion. Uh, we get a little bit of pattern change on there as well when you rub your hand on the material. So I'm gonna show you guys the outside of this shoe first. Okay, look at that mesh in the background right there. Pretty fine in my opinion, okay. Show you guys the inside right here, same thing. What y'all think about these on a scale of 1 to 10? Let me know in the comments box below. All right, coming back towards the outside here, we get that N in gray. And the background of that is like in a whitish color. Okay, now when we put a flash on these, these do have that 3M hit on the end right there. So I'm gonna show you guys that right now. Okay, we get that same thing on the inside right here as well. All right. Now moving, before we get to the front of the toe box here, if you guys look right before we get to the front of the toe box on the outsides and on the insides, we get that mesh material, all right, like a maroonish color, okay. Moving up towards the toe box here, we get this mesh material all in that toe box, and then we get those gray hits of suede on the outsides of the toe box, okay. Now these won't crease up on you, so you won't have to worry about wearing anywhere with shoe trees in these, which is a plus, and they feel really comfortable on feet. And as you guys can see as well, right before we get to the mud bar right there, it's a little bit of black, but that actually is 3M as well. That little peak right there. Okay, now uh, on the mud guard here, we get some more of that scarlet on the mud guard and that suede. And then right in front of that, we get the NB, in like a whitish color, all whitish color. And then the black creeping up from the bottom. Okay, pretty fine in my opinion. Now, before we get to the laces on these, we get a little bit more of that gray suede at the bottom of the laces. And then we get that scarlet red on the lace panels. All right, and on the left shoe, as you guys can see, I have the scarlet laces or maroon laces in them. And on the right shoe, I have the white laces in them. I really like the way the white laces look in them, in my opinion. I think it, I think it gives the shoe more a little bit more pop. But um, on the tongue here, we get this mesh tongue. All right, and in the middle of the mesh tongue, it says optimal control. All right, and at the top of the tongue, it says new balance right there. Red and the background of that is gray. That is not 3M though. No. When I try to put the flash on it, it doesn't look like it's 3M. Maybe my eyes are playing a trick on me, but I'm pretty sure it's not 3M. <laughs> All right, now on the outsides of the ankle here, right below the ankles, we get a little bit more of that mesh, a little bit of that gray suede, and it says 990 back there. All right, pretty fire and like a white. Okay. Uh, on the back of the tongue here is white, and then it says the sizing and everything like that. Okay, now coming towards the inside of the shoe here, we get this white on the sock lining okay on the inside of the shoe we get that maroon or scarlet red right there in the, in the shoe 
All right, and on the insole, it says New Balance, Authentic Shoe, Boston, Massachusetts, 02134. I'll show you guys that insole right now. Pretty fire. All right. I'll show you guys the back of the shoes here at the top of the back of the shoes. It looks black, but that actually is 3M material. All right, and it says Made in the USA. Right there, pretty fire in my opinion. I'll show you guys what that looks like in 3M right now. Okay, a little bit under that, it says NB, right there in white, the background of that is red. Then in the back of that, comes back in that scarlet color, or maroon color back there. Then it goes down to that red, scarlet suede under that. We also see the New Balance back there in plastic. Now I'm gonna show you guys where my foot is in the toe box right now. Okay guys, so this is what they look like on feet. Pretty clean in my opinion. Now I'm a true size nine, I'm normally get nine and a half in all my shoes. Except for 450s and 350s, I believe you need to go full size up on those. But with these uh, 990 V3s, I believe true to size is the way to go. Um, they fit really well, true to size. I feel like um, they're very comfortable even when you start to like scrunch up your toes like I'm doing right now. There's a lot of space in the toe box and things like that. Now, I'm gonna show you guys my foot is actually in the toe box right now. I'm wiggling around for you guys, but if you guys cannot tell, my big toe is right here. Okay, so I do have a little bit of space in there as you guys can see. Okay, now um, towards the edges here, it is a little bit more space. All right, I'll show you guys that. Um, another way to tell if your shoes are too small for you when this starts to lean over, when you start to take steps. And as you guys can see, mine doesn't really do that. It does it, but you know, it doesn't really have that much of a lean over. I'll show you guys the opposite side. This one you can see a lot more better. All right, now. Um, I would consider you guys going true to size on these. In my opinion, unless you have a wider foot, then you should go up half a size. But other than that, they feel really nice on feet. Um, push my feet all the way up to the top. You guys can see I still have a little bit of space in the back right there. So um, <clears throat> true to size is the way to go in my opinion. Now, um, I'm gonna show you guys with these like some different pants options right now. Okay guys, hope you guys like this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Show your boy some love and stay tuned.